So our next step in this process is actually replacing all of the floors. Uh, we did come in and paint, but I didn't show any of that because I didn't think that was very exciting, but we did have a good time doing it. This is the floor that we're gonna put down. But in doing that, we've taken off all of the baseboards, but now what I've gotta do is I've gotta get this up. And the only way that I know to do that, I can chisel it up, but I actually have an air chisel that I'm gonna use that with. And then I've got a scraper that'll get off the other part. Now I decided I'm not gonna put down the floor. Uh, I'm gonna have somebody else do it just for time. Cause there's a lot, it's not a ton, but there's a lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get on this and we'll see how easy it is. Well, that was a quick change. I actually got a couple tools from Harbor Freight. Great, but I forgot to get this little end here. So I've got to go to Lowe's and buy a couple of those and then put it in. Then we'll come back in and try to start this again. So it's a good thing that we have a quick Lowe's because I was able to get this. Got a couple of them and other and looks like we're going to be set to go. Gonna put these earplugs on and hope the neighbors don't um, complain too much. Hopefully it'll be quick. So that actually didn't take too long getting that all up. Tool was great. Now here's the hard part. I'll have to get all of that up first, and then I've got a little scraper that I'll kind of work on that. Hopefully that won't take very long. So I probably didn't have to be that clean on this, but now I've got another tool uh, because I don't think that chisel is gonna work because I started using it here and it looks like it's pretty rough, but I've got a scraper. Uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, I've got to put that end on that and get it set up. So as soon as I get that, we'll test it out. So this ought to be interesting. It's really not that. So, it'll either take five years to do, I'm gonna have to bring the other one out to kind of get the bulk of it out, then come back in here and allow this to do the small stuff. But um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. We'll get the loud stuff, but I think I'm gonna turn on the vacuum here to kind of keep that, the dust down.
Okay, I've actually just finished all of this. I've got to sweep it up and then I need to go back one more time with the, uh, the little chisel to make sure that it's all smooth. But then once that's it, we're done. Uh, we can call this one over. Now, I think that's really the only way that I could have got this up. I know that there is a tool, but it was about $119 to, uh, you could stand up and do it, but I probably would have had to bring my other air compressor over. This one, I had my little air compressor, uh, but then I bought two Harbor Freight tools, a uh, scraper and then that kind of in, impact wrench or impact chisel. And both of them together were like 38 bucks. So it was well worth it. So I'm gonna clean this up and then I'm gonna do the last, um, kind of scrape and get that all smooth and we will be finished with this. Okay, well, that's it. We have, I'm gonna wipe this off here. Maybe. <laughs> so we've got this all done. It's all clean. Uh, I'm gonna get this cleaned up. But that's gonna be it for the day. Uh, on Thursday, they're coming in to tear up all the carpet and put the new floor down. It's also gonna come into here, so I guess my daughter's got to clean up the rest of this, but I'll clean up all the tools and put them out in the, in the uh, garage, ready for the next project.